Florence and the Machine is a UK band that have gained a lot of popularity over the years with some huge singles like uh, Dog Days Are Over and Ship to Wreck and many many more that they have been a part of. They've always had a pretty Baroque pop influence. Their uh, debut album felt quite Arcade Fire influenced in my opinion. The second album Ceremonials was an album that I did not really enjoy at all. I felt that the recording quality of most of the tracks just didn't hit me very well. But then they dropped How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful three years ago, which I think might have been their best album to date. It felt the most unique. They had some really interesting singles like um, What Kind of Man and Ship to Wreck, which is by far their best song and one of the best songs of 2015, in my opinion. It felt like they honed in their sound very well on that album and finally they got into their own sort of style and it didn't feel like they were being pulled from other artists and the influences were as clear. Even though artists like Kate Bush and Joni Mitchell I think are quite an influence on Florence herself, but still I think the album had a bit more to it than just influences. And now the latest album, Highest Hope, is a pretty decent follow-up. I think there are some tracks that are nearly as good as some of the best ones from the last album that they put out, especially a song like Hunger and uh, Patricia reaches that point as well. And to me, I just feel like there isn't really much bad to say about Florence and Machine. I think they're just a pretty likeable band, although at least I thought they were until I went to places on the internet that just decide to ruin everything you like. <sighs> but regardless of that, I still think this is a very solid album. It's not really something I think is amazing or great, to be honest, but I can't really take away from Florence and Machine. I think as a band, they're really good. They produce some really interesting uh, ideas. Florence as a vocalist is incredibly talented. But even though I must admit, this is pretty by the numbers for Florence and the Machine, I must say. It's kind of what you've come to expect, which I don't know if that is something that's gonna make me lose interest in them down the long run, like in the, in the long run and down the road, you know, into the future, I think maybe it could. But for now, I still think there are some tracks here that I will return to. It's just kind of like, you know, melancholic, sad tracks with some beautiful lush arrangements in the background and some great vocal performances and some pretty nice melodies like that's kind of just what you get with Florence the Machine and I don't know if that's something that's going to carry on to their next album or future releases because I think it's just going to kind of get old quick. They're a very popular band though it does well for them but maybe just release an album filled with pure pop you know like ship to wreck but in an interesting unique kind of way that's not just like a full-on top 40 pop song but it still has that pop element to it that really works in an accessible way hunger is a good example of this i really like the stompy chorus the way she's uh you know chanting as well it's really catchy i think this is a great song like a genuinely great song one of those kind of songs that you just don't really come across often, but a band like Florence and Machine can produce it because they know how to craft something like this. It's just that they don't do it as often as they should. But most of these tracks generally just fall in heartbreak territory, really. It's just kind of like, oh, you know, Florence has been hard done to and she tells a bit of a story. You know, tracks like June, um, it's, it's nice. There are some nice moments some warmth to the album which I must appreciate. Um, it's just kind of like, yeah, if it had not already been done so many times on the past few albums, this might have sounded better, but I don't know if I'm just being cynical. Sky Full of Song is quite interesting though. On this track, she's talking about how like, you know, when you get so high up in that feeling, uh, you kind of want to be dragged down a little bit because the the high emotions, these strong emotions can get a little bit too overwhelming. So you need something to bring you down, to bring you sort of back to reality and realize that not everything is as perfect as it seems. It's a pretty cool idea, I must admit. And Patricia as well. Uh, Patricia is actually an ode to Patti Smith, the legendary Patti Smith. If you've never listened to Patti Smith, do, go, go do that. Just just don't bother watch this, watching this video. Just go listen to Patti Smith, man. But I suppose it makes sense now that Patti Smith is a big influence on um, Florence as an artist because 
I guess it's just so obvious and plain as day now that I've like come across this track. I mean, I suppose Florence has always wrote her songs in quite a poetic type way, very Patti Smith-esque. And also she writes her tracks as like memoirs, I suppose, like diary entries. And that's something that Patti Smith has been known to do for like eternity. So yeah, compositionally, I mean, this is a solid album. Like you can't really take that away from Florence and the Machine. They're good at writing songs, they're good at crafting melodies. It just kind of, it's kind of same old, same old. That's that's really the issue for me. It's enjoyable and it's lovely to listen to. Um, it just might not be something that I personally feel that attached to. I just feel like I need something more, something a bit extra from the band for me to just kind of go, whoa. And maybe we'll get that, but for now, they're still putting out good music. I can't really see why you would um, have an issue with this album in any specific way. They're a good band, so yeah. This is a solid 7 out of 10. This is just an easy 7 out of 10. I can't really go anything uh, more than that or lower than that. They're a good band. Hunger is a song I'll return to quite a lot because that's a great track. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on this album. Um, and let me know your thoughts on the band in general. What's your favourite album by them? Um, subscribe if you like this review. Um, have a good day and... Uh, what do I say? I don't even know what to say. Just like, do I do I say anything? I don't even fucking know.